Hello, this is Ryan Ahmed with you and in this video, yes, you can write a website using TCL instead of PHP. That's the title of this video. So, um, I'm going to show you uh, how uh, TCL is uh, used as a server-side scripting language. Uh, we use a package named uh, Revert. Uh, you get it from uh, this website tcl.apache.org slash revert and uh, I'm going to show you my own website which you can find it online okay and I have it locally on my laptop so we won't disconnect uh, or uh, have any discontinuous uh, discontinuities in this video okay I have it locally and I have translated some parts of it uh, into uh, TCL from PHP to TCL okay now uh, for you on uh, the internet, just to get uh, to have TCL running, like uh, my own website that's now currently on PHP, uh, you have to buy yourself uh, or rent yourself or lease whatever uh, the uh, what we call a virtual private server. Virtual private server is uh, an act or like a play or you know it's not a real machine. It's like you take uh, some or like you partition some parts some of the resources of the uh, real machine and you create using software like uh, virt virtual box and uh, VMware workstation uh, a machine okay you create a machine but it's not really a machine it's just like an act okay it's like a simulation or an emulation where you can run the whole uh, operating system normally okay uh, and therefore uh, any operating system and therefore you can uh, manage the server as if it's uh, yours okay nobody can uh, mm, like play with your own server okay and you don't have to buy a real machine just to uh, run uh, a server and this server we call it a VPS okay, so you have to find some uh, some there are some for ten dollars uh, per year and uh, you have to install uh, TCL and uh, revert and therefore you can get uh, your website with P with P Apache of course as the web server so you're gonna get a website running uh, uh, using uh, TCL and revert now uh, this is my website I'm running it uh, locally okay now the links I've I have, have them here okay that I'm going to explain this is the page using PHP and this is the same page translated to uh, TCL now um, TCL I mean the PHP pages of course they have this extension PHP uh, TCL pages have uh, .tcl and uh, .rvt. This is by default. Okay. Now, uh, and uh, this here is, uh, is on, one, on my website. Like, if you click on uh, here, see, uh, I'm pointing on the links to the left side. Okay, on this column, and each one has a value. All, all of them start with a variable named uh, page ID. This is called the query string. Okay. Now this query string I'm using is a get variable. Okay. I'm gonna show you using command using uh, code. Okay. Using VI editor, which has a scroll binding. Scroll binding is like this. I move it moves the same panes together. Same, uh, at the same time, I mean, say running this, uh, scrolling both windows at the same time. So, on the top part, you will see a PHP of the same uh, content, and the bottom uh, bottom uh, window will be the TCL uh, part. Okay. Now, uh, I start here with a configuration file, which I'm going to make it a common file. Okay, for with uh, the whole uh, project or the whole uh, website. Now, uh, in PHP, 
I've made I've put uh, or I'm using uh, SQLite same in TCL but I'm gonna show you is I mean in, uh, PHP this is how you start accessing the uh, website okay much like a uh, objects and uh, the path and you get a descriptor okay that's that's too much information you are providing okay whereas control w whereas on uh, in uh, tcl all i have to do is just call this package called sqli3 i create uh, from the sqli3 command something like a file descriptor it will be always a command and then i'll access it okay and also i have to mention that uh, php you know it starts with this uh, less than and question mark let me just make it clearer this uh, one and ends of course with this so if uh, you can use them of course to stop the execution of PHP at some time to execute uh, some or to display the, P the HTML okay and start PHP again in the same uh, page this thing also happens with uh, my with uh, TCL and it has the same um, the same way of uh, PHP so it has the starting uh, this one okay and ends of course with the question mark greater than okay both at the same time now uh, in uh, and please it will take a little bit of time because it's uh, there is too much information so please be patient now in uh, uh, and, and how I get the uh, query string is using in PHP you use this uh, dollar variable okay and I'm checking the file existence that I'm going to include so it will be like uh, this part here I'm making a square or a rectangle this rectangular part here will always include uh, inside this structure or the skeleton of the page uh, the file named uh, employees.php or employees.tcl according to the page that I'm talking about now in, uh, in TCL you do it this way so I use this command name parse and it will uh, parse the whole file and evaluate all the TCL parts inside the uh, code okay and also I'm using a, a query string uh, not a query string sorry I mean uh, an SQL query string so it will uh, make sure that this page exists and uh, and is enabled so uh, I'm saying here using this command just to query whether the file is there okay I'll get through this uh, line uh, a value which is, should be the page ID I'm talking about anyway by default it should be uh, the page ID home and I pass the value uh, the uh, the file according to the page ID which I'm substituting over here now in uh, in this line set page ID var QS this var QS is the one that gets me or grabs me the value in the query string of course which is the good variable in PHP so this is the query string so if I say uh, var QS uh, I get page ID it will give me employees <coughs> and this is using uh, the query string which is a get variable again however if you want to go with uh, post variables which are the hidden variables uh, sent through a form okay which you typed uh, so it will be a uh, post like this okay 
Now, now you saw, you, you saw how I just queried, I get just one value here, it's just one value, I'm not gonna get uh, any more. But if I have multiple values in uh, SQLite, or a number of rows, okay, uh, with a number of fields, um, in PHP, this is what I do. PHP, I do first, I get the query string, of course, of SQL, from SQL, and I have to go first with a pointer to the query, just to execute the query, then save it into the result, then I say for each, I do for loop, and then I go with, of course, this form of uh, output is uh, this one, okay, to output one variable right on, okay, it's the same used in TCL over here, but look how I did it in uh, TCL. So, as I said, do this for loop for nothing, and also write so many values, and even if I have uh, like the row variable array variables just too long or too complex to use it, I can just save it and or uh, assign to a different variable, okay? Something like uh, as in here. Of course, this is not syntactically correct, but uh, just the PHP part of it, it will be like, uh, dollar name equals dollar row name okay and then I will have to pass it to PHP uh, to use the dollar name here again here okay just to undo that so in MySQL you don't have to do this okay all you have to do is just the file db command that I created from the uh, from the configuration file over here, over here, okay. I just can simply use it, okay. And here, what I do is just evaluate the query, and the query itself will give you a for loop, okay. Like this val uh, file db eval will give you a for for each loop plus the variable names already assigned to you okay you don't have to do the dollar row assigned to name okay so directly you get the field name will be a variable name so dollar employee id the details the name the email the telephone all just in one uh, one shot okay you don't have to think so much about it and this is file close okay so that's all uh, about uh, TCL mainly now regarding sessions they exist regarding cookies they exist you can just see them on the website you can also uh, do HTML forms without writing HTML because Revet provides that okay and if you want I can show you a little bit about that okay no problem anyway but they exist and uh, there's a command named form and uh, uh, TCL and does it uh, for you um, and that's it so I hope you think of writing websites in TCL once well like and uh, remove your thinking too much that PHP is just the only website that can do uh, websites and thanks for uh, watching bye